A lot of people have pets of some kind, and many times our pets feel like members of our family. We've shared countless moments with them. They've been there through our hardest days, comforting us without ever saying a word. But the reality is that our beloved pets will someday pass away if they haven't already, and their loss brings so much grief that we can't help but wonder, what happens to them when they leave this world? Will I see them again? Are pets a part of God's eternal plan in heaven? These questions have stirred the hearts of many, and today we're going to dive deep into what the Bible has to say about the eternal fate of our beloved pets. The answer may surprise you and offer the comforting hope you've been longing for. But before we start, remember to like and share this video, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get right into it. The Bible paints a broader picture of God's love for all His creation, and in that, we can find some answers. Let's take a closer look. In Genesis 1, we see that God made everything, from the stars in the sky to the tiniest creatures on earth. After each act of creation, He declares it good. It's clear that God values His creation, and animals are a significant part of it. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 10 even says, The righteous care for the needs of their animals. This shows us that compassion and responsibility toward animals are part of living a righteous life. When we care for our pets, farm animals, or even the wildlife around us, we are reflecting God's own compassion. It's a powerful reminder that all of creation, not just humanity, is important to God. He created animals with purpose, and He values their well-being. Our role as stewards of God's creation isn't limited to the earth or environment. It extends to the animals we share this world with. But does this care extend beyond this life? While Jesus doesn't mention animals specifically in heaven, He does describe heaven as a place of ultimate peace and restoration. In Revelation chapter 21, we're told that God will wipe away every tear and that death shall be no more. This vision of eternity is one of healing and joy, where everything broken is made whole. Could it be that our pets, which have brought us so much joy and companionship, are part of that restoration? It's a comforting thought, and many believe that God, in His boundless love, would not withhold that joy from us. Now, here's where it gets interesting. In Isaiah chapter 11, we get a beautiful vision of the future, a time when the wolf will live with the lamb and the leopard will lie down with the goat. It's a picture of total peace, a world where even animals live in harmony. This passage shows a future where animals play a part in God's renewed creation. And to me, that's evidence that heaven is a place where we will be reunited with the creatures who've loved us unconditionally. Another evidence of this reunion is described in Psalm 37, which says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. For many of us, being reunited with our pets is part of the deepest desires of our heart. They've been companions, comforters, and friends in ways that words often can't describe. That's why I'm confident that a God who cares so deeply about our joy and fulfillment would allow us to see our pets again in eternity. God's love is immense, reaching far beyond anything we can fully grasp. In Matthew chapter 10, verse 29, Jesus says, Not one sparrow falls to the ground outside your father's care. This simple statement carries profound meaning. It reveals that God's concern and compassion extend to all creatures. If God notices when a single sparrow falls, it shows us that no part of His creation is too small for His care. This includes the pets we cherish so deeply. God's love is not limited by human boundaries, and the affection we have for our pets reflects His own creative, nurturing heart. They are not just animals to us. They are companions, friends, and sources of joy. And our Heavenly Father, in His infinite love, made room in eternity for all His creatures, including those we hold dear. 
God's love, after all, is beyond our understanding. So, will pets go to heaven? While the Bible may not give a crystal clear answer, we can hold on to the broader message of God's love, redemption, and the peace of His eternal kingdom. Trust that heaven will be far greater than we can imagine, and every longing of our heart will be fulfilled in ways we cannot even begin to understand. We must trust in God's goodness. His love for His creation is immense, and He is preparing a place for us filled with unimaginable peace, joy, and love. Take comfort in that hope and cherish the time you have with your pets today, knowing that God's care for His creation reaches far beyond what we can see. Now that we know we'll be reunited with our pets in heaven, it's important to understand exactly what the Bible says about what happens to us after we take our last breath. In the video on your screen, we dive into the details of everything the scriptures reveal about that moment. Click to watch it now. If you enjoyed this content, please like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. May God bless you abundantly.